Hello the internet! It is Wednesday the 23rd of November 2016. It is an absolute cracking day outside. It's so beautiful out there. I want to do a Seeing Sydney Suburbs. I haven't done one for a while. Seeing Sydney Suburbs is my section where I get out and explore the area of Sydney parts that I've never seen before. In Sydney, there are 668 suburbs and I've got them all in a list alphabetically from A all the way through to Z, one through to 668. How do I choose which one I'm going to? I enter a random number generator between one and 668 and wherever it falls is the place I'm going to. Today, I'm about to make my random selection and I thought, well, I'll just give Nick a call and see if he wants to come and do this. So Nick and Claire, they're coming with me on this mission. They don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. We're about to find out. Here is my spreadsheet. Let's give Nick a call. Hey, Nick. Yo, what's happening? How are you, man? Good, man. That connects, like, it takes ages to connect, right? It does. Let me just make your beautiful face full screen. There you go. Ooh, All right, okay. so, so you He's coming with me today. First time we've ever done this. Oh yeah, I can I can read it a bit better. It's all right though. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's what we got there. <laughs> Two computers talking to each other. I'll go to a um, random number generator, and that brings up between one and a hundred. It brings up ninety-two, but that's not what we want. So what we want to do. There's 668 from memory. I'll just confirm that that's the final amount. 668, that's right, okay. Where are we going? Oh, I'm nervous. Let's do this, here we go. 559. All right, let's go back to the spring. Baines Park. I think that's out near Campbell. Where is that? So Nick and Claire actually live closer to Shane's Park than I do, so I'm taking the train, I'm going to meet them at Rhodes, and then we're going to drive out to Shane's Park and see what we can find out there. In the meantime, it is NSD. NSD is Black Aces, a four piece from Victoria. I always get dates wrong, so this time I checked the date before I left. It was June 2015. Uh, the Black Aces boys were up in town doing a few shows. Fatality. Okay, so there was a fatality, and that's why we've been delayed. The Black Aces boys were up in Sydney doing a few shows, and I shot promo with them before their set at um, Frankie's Pizza by the Slice. Great, great show. They just come back from a European tour, smashing it over there. So if you're watching and you're one of my European viewers, you missed that tour, why? Make sure you go and see them again. They'll be back. Check out their Facebook. I think it's Black Aces Rock to get to it. Here's some of those promo photos I shot in 2015. Black Aces. <laughs> stop meeting like this <laughs> <laughs> only in Australia would you see this on a freeway three trucks taking up the slow lane the middle lane and then the fast lane it only happens here because here in Australia we have the weirdest road rules where that's not illegal trucks can drive in any lane they want it annoyed me I'm not even driving did it annoy you 
kind of scares me when they do that. Yeah. Because I can't see past them if there's three in a row. Yeah. So if anything's happening up ahead. So this is Shane's Park. Now we are trying to find a, um, a town centre, if you like, somewhere to get a pie. As per my Seeing Sydney Suburbs regulations, I've got to try to find a meat pie in the suburb that we're in. Mind you, this place has got a population of 400 and it doesn't look like we're gonna find any kind of shops at all. We're just gonna cruise around a little bit and see. If we don't find anything, that's okay, because there is something else in Shane's Park, which is really cool, and we're gonna go and investigate that, but I'll tell you about that in a little bit. We're gonna just keep banging on until we find some kind of shops. Well, the big thing I was alluding to before seems to have eluded all of us. There's a place here in Shane's Park, and it's called Shane's Park, and what it is, from their website, 560 hectares of wild bushland that exists here in Sydney, a na like a nature, flora, fauna extravaganza. There's so much cool stuff. We wanted to see it because it looked incredible. There's no way we can access it. Everything's fenced off. There was no clear way to get there. Instead, <laughs> we're at Shane's Park Recreational Area. I just came back inside from outside. I did a whole bunch of pieces to camera on my beautiful Sony RX10 Mark II. The only issue that I have right now is that for some reason, the audio jack in, which is the one I'm fiddling with now, doesn't work. That there, this, the, this is the jack that's not That's how it should be in, but obviously it's not working entirely. You have to jiggle it to get an audio signal, and then you don't even get stereo, you only get mono. And this is not how it was from factory. This is how it's happened in the last, well, I've owned this camera, well, I've had my YouTube channel for over a year now, so I've owned this camera for just over a year. So Sony, is there a reason why my RX10 Mark II audio jack would not be working correctly? And before you question it, it's not the microphone, because I've got two of these, and I've swapped them in and out and tried both. It is the audio jack. I'd love Sony to have some kind of discourse here and sort of work out what's going on. Is it possible for you to replace the headphone port or is it possible to replace the whole camera? Whatever it is, let's just work on getting this audio working because it should be in both ears and it's not. Thank you. We have audio? Yes. That's audio, okay. So this is Shane's Park Reserve. We did find it. We found an access point in the end. There's a road going down here. Unfortunately, this time around, we've left things a little bit too late. Not really, it's not really our fault. It did start clouding up and hammering down with rain and wind. This whole reserve here is earmarked to be flattened. What's happening is this place is owned by the federal government, uh, all of Australia. State government, New South Wales, small portion of Australia, wants the area. And what they want to do is they want to flatten it and put an expressway through here. It's your classic tale of urban development. Of course, this whole area is packed with endangered animals. There's some really rare birds that live here. No one's happy about that. We just met a guy in there. He's actually one of the reserve caretakers. Smack bang in the center of the reserve, there's actually a thatched roof hut. And he's invited myself, Nick, and Claire to go down there and just to learn a little bit more about what's happening here in the park. So we're gonna go down there and do that. Oh, that's, um, we're out of time! Oh, hey. Thanks for checking out Gives A Minute, my YouTube channel. It's the one you just watched. And if you liked it, there's a few things you can do. You could check out the previous minute here, a random minute there, or even the first minute there. Now, if you're a photographer like I am, you might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets. And you should also subscribe to the channel so you can continue to see what I'm up to. And the social stuff, hit that up as well, you know you want to. I'm not going to do that this long this time, I've got a cold. Do all the things.